you know i want to know your views on cryptocurrencies you know it's well, getting have, so- yeah you see around the world yeah uh, so i have uh, i think you know i'll just unpack this first of all i think everybody agrees that blockchain is a great technology and we can apply it for things like supply chain or cross border transactions or whatever so that everybody buys it on cryptocurrencies uh, i mean there you know some some people believe they could be banned but my personal view is don't think of crypto as a transactional currency because it will never be able to meet the transactional efficiency of upi in india anyway upi does uh, 2.3 billion transactions uh, a month and the architecture built by npci is for 1 billion transactions a day at almost zero cost so so bitcoin can never compete on transactional efficiency so don't think of bitcoin as a way to pay for the small things think of it as an asset class <laughs> an asset class where just like i keep some money in gold or real estate i can keep some money in bitcoin and you can put a set of rules around it i mean remember in india in 1968 we had something called the gold control order passed yeah. by muraji desai yeah. where everybody was criminalized for holding gold right and then as part of liberalization in 1990 we said no it's okay let people have gold so i think we should have a model of Uh, cryptos whether it's ethereum bitcoin whatever as asset class which i can hold i may have to declare it i may have to pay taxes on it all that is required but bring that within the system then there is the question of the digital rupee i believe that yes indian government rbi can definitely look at a digital rupee and it can use the distribution architecture of upi to reach 200 million people no the country can do this because the upi architecture allows multiple stored value accounts so on upi i can have a bank account a wallet a bitcoin account or a uh, or a account from a, a digital rupee so i think depending on which aspect you're talking about my view is digital rupee yes bitcoin as an asset class use uh, uh, you know the blockchain for applications i don't think we need stable coins because the digital rupee is a government fiat stable coin and uh, i think that's the way i think about it no but uh, the question is if you find that it's going to be inefficient to transact then the investing in it in itself then you know you'll see that i mean it, at some point it kind of plateaus the value of it will kind of you know uh, no, will I mean, people i mean india has uh, thousands of tons of gold here yeah? i mean we keep them as an asset we we keep them at home no well, that's not a problem but globally you think bitcoin will uh, will be or cryptocurrencies will be a uh, uh, transactional currency or will I mean, it only be in india what you think no in india definitely i don't think it will be transactional because we have a better system we have a superior transaction system it may be possible that in the west uh, because the payment systems may it may the government may, but i have a feeling that will come from this uh, so called central bank digital currency like the digital dollar or the digital rupee which will be zero transaction cost uh, fiat currencies the, it, is, it is that's the way the central bankers are thinking about it. Right. because regulators in india where we speak to are very they feel very nervous about cryptocurrency like yeah, so look it's like this you you need to have a set of rules saying that just like we have the lrs right in lrs we say everybody can transfer transfer 250000 dollars a year abroad so we have accepted that uh, earlier we couldn't i mean to go to abroad i had to go and ask for 5 dollars a day from dollars the a day <laughs> so we have liberalized so same thing it is it is saying that a uh, individual can have not more than x uh, rupees worth of bit- bitcoin or whatever and the most people who are law abiding will follow that some people will not but then those guys will be doing it today also so what is you, know, you ever envision a situation where there's a big uh, client of infosys for instance in uh, you know in the us who says that we want to pay in bitcoin well i mean uh, institutional b2b i mean I, i haven't heard that yet but you know it's possible but not yet